Hello friends and welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the world of cooking oils. The right cooking oil can make a huge difference in the taste of your food, no matter how experienced you are in the kitchen. We'll talk about the best cooking oils and what makes them special in this film. Let's begin. People often call olive oil the liquid gold of the Mediterranean. It is a culinary treasure with a long past and many uses. Our main focus here is on extra virgin olive oil, which is thought to be the best quality and tastiest of all the types. Extra virgin olive oil is extracted through a cold press process, which preserves its natural flavors and nutritional value. One of the key components that makes olive oil stand out is its high content of monounsaturated fats, particularly oleic acid. These heart-healthy fats have been linked to various health benefits, including reducing the risk of heart disease and inflammation. In addition to being good for you, extra virgin olive oil has the best taste. It gives your food a strong, fruity, and sometimes spicy flavor. You can use it to make salad dressings and dips and to finish off hot meals. However, it's important to note that while extra virgin olive oil is fantastic for many applications, it has a medium smoke point. This means it's not suitable for high heat cooking methods like deep frying. For those scenarios, a regular olive oil with a higher smoke point would be more appropriate. So when you're exploring olive oil for your culinary adventures, consider the specific use case. Whether you're drizzling it on a caprese salad or using it to saute vegetables, olive oil is a kitchen essential that brings a touch of the Mediterranean to your cooking. Now let's talk about avocado oil, which is both popular and good for you. This oil, which is made from the pulp of ripe avocados, has become famous because it tastes great and is good for you. The high smoke point of avocado oil makes it great for frying, sauteing, and smoking, among other ways to cook. This changes everything, especially when you need an oil that can handle higher temperatures without going bad or losing its health benefits. You can use avocado oil instead of other oils because it has a high smoke point. This makes it great for frying things to a crisp or sear your favorite foods beautifully. One thing that makes avocado oil stand out is that it tastes soft and buttery. Avocado oil doesn't make your food taste bad like some other oils do. Instead, it brings out the natural tastes, which makes it a good choice for both sweet and savory recipes. Like olive oil, avocado oil is full of polyunsaturated fats, which are good for you. It is known that these healthy fats are good for your heart and your general health. Vitamin E, which is found in avocado oil, is an antioxidant that helps keep your cells from getting hurt. You can drizzle avocado oil over a salad, saute vegetables in it, or use it in your baking. It adds a subtle, delicious flavor to your products. Here's a culinary tip. You can even use avocado oil to make a delicious and creamy homemade mayonnaise. It's a healthier alternative without compromising on taste. Our culinary journey continues with the exotic and versatile coconut oil. Extracted from the flesh of mature coconuts, this oil has become a staple in many kitchens worldwide, thanks to its unique flavor and a myriad of culinary uses. People love coconut oil because it has a high burn point, which makes it great for a lot of different cooking methods, from baking to stir frying. This quality is especially helpful when you need an oil that can handle higher temperatures without losing any of its health benefits. It's worth noting that coconut oil's flavor profile is distinctively tropical. The mild sweetness and pleasant smell of coconut make both sweet and savory meals taste better. There are a lot of Southeast Asian and tropical dishes that use it. Aside from its cooking uses, coconut oil has gotten a lot of attention for its possible health benefits. It has a lot of saturated fats, but most of them are lauric acid, which has been linked to a number of health benefits, including better heart health. Coconut oil also contains medium-chain triglycerides, MCTs, which are known for their quick energy release and metabolism-boosting properties. From curries to cookies, coconut oil's versatility shines. It's a great substitute for butter in baking and adds a rich tropical flavor to your favorite desserts. You can also use it as a base for homemade granola or as a creamy addition to your morning coffee. Here's a culinary tip. Try using melted coconut oil as a topping for popcorn. It adds a delicious twist that's sure to elevate your movie night snacks. A word of caution, while cooking oils offer a multitude of health benefits, they may not be suitable for everyone. If you have a specific health condition or are taking medication, Consult with your healthcare provider before making any significant dietary changes. 
If you like what you've seen thus far, please click the like and subscribe buttons and the bell notification. Thank you for viewing. Now, let's turn our attention to the widely used and versatile canola oil. Derived from the rapeseed plant, canola oil has become a staple in many kitchens due to its neutral flavor and high smoke point. Canola oil has one of the highest burn points among cooking oils. This makes it a great choice for frying, sauteing, baking, and other cooking methods. Because it can withstand high temperatures without breaking, many cooks use it. Canola oil doesn't have a strong flavor, so the flavors of your other items can really stand out. It's not too strong, so it can be used in a lot of different foods, both sweet and savory. When it comes to cooking, canola oil is hard to beat. It can be used to make anything from golden brown cakes to crispy fried chicken. It's often used for deep frying because it stays stable at high temperatures. From a health perspective, canola oil is low in saturated fat and high in monounsaturated fats, making it a heart-healthy option. It also contains omega-3 fatty acids, which are essential for brain health and have anti-inflammatory properties. In addition to its use in cooking, canola oil is great for making salad dressings, marinades, and even as a base for homemade mayonnaise. Its light texture and mild flavor make it a versatile choice in the kitchen. Our culinary exploration now takes us to the aromatic and flavorful world of sesame oil. Derived from toasted or raw sesame seeds, this oil is a staple in many Asian cuisines known for its distinctive nutty taste. Toasted and untoasted sesame oil are the two most common types. As a finishing touch, toasted sesame oil is commonly utilized for its powerful flavor and deep golden color. It improves the flavor profile as a whole by imparting a distinct and robust nuttiness. On the other hand, untoasted sesame oil has a lighter color and milder flavor, making it suitable for cooking at higher temperatures without the risk of the oil becoming bitter. One key consideration when using sesame oil is that it's best used as a flavor enhancer rather than a cooking oil for high heat methods. Due to its lower smoke point, it's often added towards the end of the cooking process or used in marinades and dressings. Some people like sesame oil because it tastes great and might also be good for you. It's a good source of monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats and has vitamins in it. Sesame oil adds a depth of flavor that is difficult to achieve with other oils. It's great for stir-frying veggies, making meat marinades, or even just spreading over noodles. Here's a culinary tip. Store your sesame oil in a cool, dark place to preserve its flavor. It's also recommended to refrigerate it to prevent the oil from turning rancid. And there you have it, a brief tour of some of the top cooking oils. Each oil brings its own unique flavor and characteristics to the table. So don't be afraid to experiment and find your favorites. I hope this video has been helpful in guiding you through the wonderful world of cooking oils. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and let me know in the comments which cooking oil is your go-to in the kitchen. Until next time, happy cooking.